What is up, YouTubers? John Z here, and welcome back to more Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. And in the last video, we started off uh, the short side story, Balance, where, you know, Siri and Natsuki are hanging out a lot, and uh, it seems like Siri's kind of smuggling uh, Natsuki a bit, which he feels like that's what's happening. So, um, there might be something going on in that regards into Balance. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this wasn't too long after the last episode I made of Balance, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to try to get most of this done as I can, because I don't know the next time I'm going to re-record in this. Yeah, this is the only other day today I can actually do this, because, uh, obviously I don't want to play this while people are home, because, uh, I don't want them to judge me. So, anyways. Granted, I don't know, I, I don't know if you guys are judging me for playing this game, but you know what? Why not? <laughs> Anyways, uh, going into this, it's lunchtime, which I actually just finished lunch too. I literally had a little break beforehand, walking the dogs in, having lunch, so at least it's something in between. Siori, who usually buys her lunch, is making her way to the cafeteria like any other day. Uh, the cl clamor and busted of the students is drowned by Siori's uh, impatable skill of zoning out. However, her imagination is uh, momentarily interrupted by a glimpse of a familiar pink-haired girl. <clears throat> hey, that's Natsuki! I never ran into her other than the club members around the school. Natsuki! Siri stands on uh, the tippy toes and waves. Natsuki, who's busy talking and chatting with her friends, doesn't notice Sayori at, at first. Then she glances over to Sayori's direction. Sayori waves enthusiastically. Sha brain. <laughs> Following her friends, Natsuki quickly ducks around around the corner. Hey, she definitely saw me. Oh, Sayori, it's not you. I swear. <laughs> Monica is the first to arrive at the club room meeting. Then Natsuki. Siori, having glanced through the window to see Natsuki already inside, is unable to work up the courage uh, to enter. Natsuki's been so distant with me. I was stupid to think she wanted to be friends. She only got excited because she got to share manga. But aside from that, she doesn't even like me. I should just go home today. Um... Sorry, but do you plan on going inside? No. Why? I'm sulking. Oh. Well, I'm sorry for bothering you. Excuse me. No, don't leave me! <laughs> oh. I'll stay here then. Now you can go. Okay, I'll go. No, don't leave me! I'm getting mixed, em I'm getting mixed emotions here, not, uh, Sayori. I don't want to go in. I'm afraid of bothering Natsuki. I saw her at lunch day, so I waved and called out to her, but instead of saying hi, she just ran away from me. Really? Hmm. Not bad. bad. Hey! So, sorry. I, I'm sorry. That was a joke. <clears throat> a nice way to avoid Sayori. Just duck and go! <laughs> It just sounded like something stupid that I would do from anxiety. From anxiety? Well, I just don't like the attention being drawn to myself. Oh. Well, that makes sense based on the person you are. But Natsuki isn't shy like that at all. I thought we were friends. But it feels like every day she's just trying to distance herself more instead of getting closer. Makes me feel like she's only spending time with me during the club because I, I was reading manga, but she doesn't actually want to be friends with me. Um, well, I feel like I'm missing a lot of the context here. Was she in the middle of anything when you approached her? No, she was just walking with her friends. With her friends. Here, he pauses for a moment. How do I put this? Siri, you are very fond of your friends, right? You always want to be spending time with them. Of course. I don't think there's any more impo anything more important to me. 
I mean, the best part of my day is always with my friends. Besides that, besides that, I really hate being alone, so... So, you hate being alone? Siri nods. We're very different people. I cherish my, alo my time alone. I wouldn't trade it for anything. So I think, well, if I was trying to have alone time, it would be a uh, threatening with an interruption, then it would just would not make me very happy. Yeah, but that doesn't have to do with Natsuki. She was already, uh, she was already with her friends, not trying to be alone or anything. No, I think it's similar. It's, well, we were all friends in the club, but we have our own lives outside of the club as well. If you think about it, making new friends isn't something casual according to that happens on a daily basis. Our friendship is invalid to intertwine your lives together, but the capacity at which each person is ready to do that might be different. There are friends who just like to have fun together, and others who talk every day and share every detail of their life with each other. I think when establishing a friendship, it's, more, it's important to consider the comfort level of the other person. I mean, we don't really know much about Natsuki's life outside of the club. It could, that, it could be that she simply needs to make friends of her own pace rather than jump head first into new uh, communication a commitment but that means I was really bothering her I just really wanted to be good friends with her so I treated her like one was I really hurting her? I don't know I'm sorry this insight was really only based on what I understand about my own needs and Nesky and I are completely different so why was I so selfish? Even if all of that is true, then it still means I hurt her. I think I messed up. Yuri, with, with you, I think I was really care careful to understand y your needs when I was becoming your friend So with you. But I wasn't carefree at all with Natsuki because she already seemed really social. I just took control of everything instead of looking for a right balance. Now I hurt her and she doesn't want to talk to me. How can I let myself do this? Um, Sayori, I think that, well, there was m one time you told me something about the way I saw things in my head being different from reality. It's easy to automatically jump into the wor worst case scenario. But I think it's more likely that Natsuki doesn't harbor any ill feelings towards you. So I think if we were to uh, realistically consider the situation on how you would cause someone to feel, um, I'm bad at this. I'm sorry. You're a lot better than me at, at the, th these things, like confronting and reassuring people. Suddenly Siori gives Yuri a gentle hug. Huh? You're the best, Yuri. I'm sorry for about uh, burdening you with this. You're trying so hard for me. You're such a you're such a sweetheart. I just, it's not a burden. I enjoy listening to others, and my friends deserve happiness. Siri beams. <laughs> beams. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna give Natsuki some space. She she should do what she wants, and if she does. If still want to be friends, then I'll learn ne her needs and I'll match her uh, boundaries. Yeah, I'm sure that's what's best. I wish I didn't feel so awful and guilty. It makes me feel uh, desperate, like I need to make up some make up to her by trying to make her happy. But that's not what she needs. I just have to tell myself that. It hurts, but I guess it means I still need to grow. I really want to grow as a person. If it, if it's to be better, but for a friend, then I want that. That's very mature of you, Sayori. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm mature. Sayori hops up and down on her toes. So does that mean you'll be going home after all? Sayori shakes her head. 
I need to be here to show her that I can respect her space. I'll just spend at the club by myself today. Yuri nods in understanding. You can go in first. Uh, okay. You're blocking the door. Oh! Siri steps aside. <laughs> they were just having a conversation right in front of the door. <laughs> By the way, Yuri, before Yuri enters the club room, Siri injects. You said that you and Natsuki are completely different, but I don't really think that's true. I think you're actually really similar in a lot of ways. Yuri smiles and shakes her head. Siori, that's absurd. You're very silly sometimes. Yuri turns and enters the club room. Well, we'll find out in, uh... It was love something that will further a story, so... After a moment, Siori follows. Siori's now gonna give Natsuki her space, so... The club room is quiet. When Siori walked in, Natsuki glances in the other direction. Siori smiles to give Natsuki a quick wave before sitting down across the room. Yuri's face is already buried in her book. She already decides the best to continue uh, the manga she was reading, so she pulled, pulls it out. However, it looks like Natsuki isn't reading today. She has a sheet of paper in front of her and is trapping a pen against her desk and staring at it. Oh, they're both doing the things they both like. <laughs> oh, are we writing today? Monica speaks a quiet voice, unwillingly to disturb the peace of the club room. She kneels down at Natsuki's desk. Uh, hey! Natsuki pulls the sheet closer to her and covers it with her arms. Sorry, I didn't mean to peek. Oh, whatever. I just wanted to see how everything was going. It's fine. Natsuki replies dismissively. I also like how the two that are kind of giving them conversations is uh, Monica with Natsuki and then Yuri with Siori, even though those are, those are like the two stories that happened beforehand, so, you know. She glances over at Siori, who is focused on her manga. Uh, Monica follows Natsuki, his gaze. I think she's mad at me. How come? I, I'm busy right now. I'll ask you later. Monica falls silent. Natsuki looks back down up down at her paper. She inches her hand away from the top Mirage and allowing Monica to see. It says to Sayori. Understand Monica smiles. She places a hand on Natsuki's shoulder and whispers softly. I'm proud of you. Oh. <laughs> Natsuki looks away but makes no motion to remove Monica's hand. Monica gives Natsuki his shoulder a little quick squeeze before standing back up and pulling away. Oh, she feels bad. But now I think Sirius is going to start uh, avoiding her, so... The end of the club meeting passes. Yuri, Yuri has already departed. So has Monica, after checking on Sayori and Natsuki to assure they wouldn't stay too late. Sayori is determined to finish her manga volume before heading out since the uh, ending was approaching. However, with Natsuki also staying late for an unknown reason, a silent tension hangs in the air. After finishing the volume, Sayori brings it back to the closet to put it away. She slides it back into the shelf while Nats Natsuki watches. Then Natsuki gets up and pulls it back out in order to return it to, uh, to, to, to uh, its paper location. Sorry, I didn't know you were supposed to uh, go. It's fine. The two fall silent, avoiding eye contact. They both look at uh, like they are about to say something, but neither of them break silence. A moment passes. Well, I'll be on my way. See you tomorrow. Hmm. Siori turns away to hide her pain and expression, then walks away from the closet. If there was any proof Natsuki no longer wanted to be friends, this was it. Defeated, Siori carries herself out of the club room. No, Natsuki, run after her! Run after her! Once in the hallway, Siori takes a deep breath and hits her palm against her che uh, cheek to clear her head a little. Um, suddenly Natsuki's screaming voice calls from behind. Natsuki? Startled, Siori turns back around to face Natsuki. 
Oh, I like this. Look at this. Also, oh I mean, no, this is the this is the hallway. I, I thought it was the club room for a second. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Natsuki fidgets anxiously, continue to with a shaken voice. I have a lot of things to say. Me too. But you go first. Natsuki bites her lip and can't stay still. Well, first of all, she cuts herself short, struggling to continue. Trying to force the words out, she attempts to her foot and hop uh, and hops up and down a little. I'm sorry for the things I did at lunch. I I'm and I'm sorry for just being kind of mean lately. It's just really hard for me to like I mean, I'm not good with things like that make me uncomfortable. Especially when it comes to like like feelings and stuff. So face wearing Noxy uh, calms up again. Instead of continuing, she simply holds up a sheet of paper for Sayori to take. And then this is uh, a poem. Okay. <clears throat> the best place in the world. I love my bedroom. It's full of bright colors and soft things. The sunlight shines in, and it makes everything sparkle. It's the best place in the world. It's It has all my treasure, all my books, my collection, my memories. All of my dreams were born in this room. It was the best place in the world. It has all my secrets, it has all of my failures, my fears, my feelings. Sometimes it feels so f fragile that the door will break at the sunlight's touch. But it's still the best place in the world. But when someone knocks, I get scared. I brace my arms against the loose hinges. Please don't break. Don't come in. I'm not ready. It's my best place in the world. Oh, the, the knocking won't stop. I block the door with a, with furniture. An eye peeks through the keyhole and I panic. I trap in the be I'm trapped in the best place in the world. I'm not ready to share my favorite place. I need to clean my secret bits and make my bed in to hide my nightmares. I need to touch them before they, uh, to put them away, to see them again. I want so much, I, I have so much to do and I'm scared and I'm not ready. But it's still my favorite place. I still want to share it, however long it takes. If you wait patiently, I'll eventually open the door and I'll show you the best place in the world. It's a poem. But I thought, well, I stuck it up so I could it, work things out with you. So just, just be happy about it, please. Siri smiles deeply from the bottom of her heart. I'm happier than I could I could express. I feel so awful, but I'm so happy that you would do this for me. I actually realized before the club meeting today that I made a mistake. I got so caught up in the chance to get closer to you that I forgot to think about what you wanted. And that we probably have different ways we like to make friends. Um, uh, about like the friendship stuff. I mean, it's okay. I understand, so you don't have to force yourself to talk about it. Your poem did a good job. You didn't force yourself if it. You didn't force yourself if you're not ready yet. Okay. Natsuki nods. If you don't have, if you don't have to feel like you did anything wrong, it was my fault, and I'm sorry. I wasn't mad at you today or anything like that. I actually felt really guilty and wanted to give you space. I think I was thinking it was silly that I would. I just approached you all the time, and I, that I should give. I should just let you approach me whenever you want. Just whenever makes you comfortable. I'll respect that from now on. Friendship should always start with those things. With the right balance. Name of the story. Natsuki nods again. Well, one more thing about that. Hmm? Well, I don't want to have to approach you all the time either. 
I just want it to be a balance, like you said. Sayori nods. I understand. We'll make sure that of that together, then. No. Well, anyways... Now that the two of them have found common ground, Nesky finds it easier to speak more freely again. I'm not gonna be, like, sharing my poem all the time now, or anything like that. But... I guess it wouldn't hurt to do it once in a while. Only the best ones. So you, you better like them, because otherwise I might change my mind. <laughs> I like anything you do, Natsuki. I was just saying. More importantly, I have to tell you about my new boyfriend. What? Huh? Oh, from the manga. Okay, that was like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, I need to get... I need to guess who it is. You definitely won't be able to guess. The two of them walk down the hallway together. Oh my gosh, we have so much to talk about. Darn it, I should have told you to save the last two chapters so I could I could see your reaction to the big reveal. Ah, you wanted to enjoy it with me. That's cute. Oh, shush. Hee <laughs> hee. My two favorite girls. <laughs> and we're already 21 minutes in. Some of these are kind of quick, I have to say. Also, surprisingly, no mail. You'd think there would have been some mail by now, but... Huh, I guess not. Oh yeah, I guess we never really saw the extra picture. Or did we see this one? No, we didn't. Uh, we haven't seen this one yet, either. Which is with uh, Natsuki. I guess there's one with Monica, too, yeah. Okay, and then this one will be for Yuri, probably a little bit later on. But, uh, yeah, and then we have this. Look at that. All of them together, That that's cute. And then, of course, oh yeah, we have the new poem, uh, The Best Place in the World by Natsuki. It's staying balanced. Um, I don't know where the other poems are. Oh, wait, this is new. A uh, poem from Natsuki describing a, a special event in the past requires all of Na Natsuki's other poems. Oh, okay, so this is like... Oh. Okay. Well, we haven't read this. Uh, I name my pen. The expression the expression and express. My feeling aboard. Without a ticket uh, to you, uh, no room is st uh, stammers. No lies, no extra stops, no compression. Uh, station screaming by attention, saying hi. One ticket to you, please and thank you. Take a headphone and does. Uh, no bumps in the rails, just thumps to my heart, and it loops uh, my letter and clouds in the sky, and my dreams in your eyes. Hey, wake up! The train has arrived. Express, express, destination. Uh, choo choo. <laughs> That's pretty neat. So we only have like uh, a couple poems left to find, really. Um, if anything, uh, I'll have to. I don't know. It could be like everyone else's poems too. But like I know Monica, I think we saw her final poem or something. I know one of the other girls we saw that was something, but you know. Yeah. Also, there's still CGs. Hold on. Because I'm just thinking, if we went through number four, and I think there's two left. Yeah, there's only two left. I wonder what the other CGs are. Maybe there are CGs that we get after we get um, everybody or something. I don't know. But anyways, I want to set this as my wallpaper now. Because it expresses my two favorite girls in the whole world. Well, I guess not in the whole world, but like, in this game, I guess. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um... That's all for balance, and uh, yeah, we're all, we're getting through this. We have reflection and then uh, self love. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to get through self love today, but I mean we'll see. If they go as fast as they did uh, in this episode, then we'll see. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna end things here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, press the like button or subscribe to whatever. And I'll see all you dudes in the next video. See you dudes next time. <laughs> First death in Minecraft. No, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Unfortunately, I can't give you XP back. Good start, but I'm back to where it was.